If you drive on busy Route 62 in Danvers, you can't miss Brian. People are just really, really nice. And his sign. Little girl on the bike goes by. I told my dad about you. He's going to come by. My son is a great barber on one side. <laughs> You're next on the other. That's my lovable son. He's a great guy. Dad stands out there in his Red Sox shilling jersey in the rain. I just love it. His Bruins jersey in the sun, drumming up business for his son, who is also Brian. I don't need to do my hair. <laughs> What's under the hat? <laughs> the younger Brian has always wanted to be a barber. My great grandfather was also a barber. And right in the heart of COVID. So how long have you been in here? A little over a month. He opened his shop. I assume it's very challenging this COVID time because you're, you know, you're in people's personal space. You're, you get nervous in there? I get nervous when somebody has a, a big colic or something because you cut it too short. It'll cost you no more than 20 bucks to get your hair cut. Seniors and kids are less. And oh, by the way, if you're ready and Brian isn't there, just call or text. Larry Bird, Poppy, and Tom, Tom, Brady. You know, Tom Brady. And dad has made a difference. Where once only a handful of people would show up on a given day, he has doubled it. We're all helping each other out. What does that mean to you? It means the world to me. I mean, he helps me out all the time. They have a saying around here. You are next. That's our motto. And you are next. And you are next. And, and I asked Brian the barber, what is the most popular cut these days? And he said, a fade. A f is that what you got, Ed yeah, Hardin, we'll when you were so, sitting in that chair? So, Harvey, you'll, you'll <laughs> love this one, Harvey. I said to him, maybe yeah. I should get a fade? And he said, uh, no, no, I don't think you should get a fade. <laughs>